here with Padres prospect Casey Kelly. And Casey, uh, let's go back a little bit. Uh, when you found out the news you were going to be dealt part of the Adrian Gonzalez trade, let's go back a little bit. Your thoughts and leaving the Boston organization and now being a Padre. Uh, yeah, it was, it was definitely a, a weird situation. I've never been in something like that. Uh, you know, I was very excited to come to the Padres organization. You know, they've definitely, um, you know, had pitchers come up through through their organization and, and done really well in the big leagues. So, from that standpoint, I, I was very excited and you know excited to get with the team. And it's an interesting deal because Petco's a pitcher's park. I mean, you, you got a chance to get through the minor leagues quickly and really contribute at the major league level in this organization. Yes, I mean that, that's the biggest goal is, is to get to the big leagues as fast as possible. So, um, you know, throughout the trade. You know, if that's going to get me in the big leagues the fastest, then, then, you know, I'm all for it. You know, especially pitching in San Antonio, that's, I heard that's pitcher's park too, so it should be fun. Yeah, Texas League is a little different, though. Ball flies out a little bit. But, you, I mean, you're facing some great talent all around the Texas League. We know about what the Royals have in Northwest Arkansas. You guys are a very talented team as well. Talk about your season as you begin it here in Double A. Yeah, I'm really excited to start the season. You know, a lot of good players in this league. I think that's that's the best, though. You know, you play against the best and kind of see where you uh, where you mark out with them. and. Uh, you know, just really excited to get the season started. Talk about your game a little bit, where you need to improve, what you've worked on in your minor league career so far that has made you the number one prospect in the Padres organization. You know, last year I struggled a little bit. I think just this year, just you know, just taking it one day at a time, one start at a time, uh, really figuring out what, what pitches work for me, you know, be as consistent as possible, go out there every fifth day and, and compete. Tell Padre fans about Casey Kelly. <laughs> um, you know, I'm pretty just go with the flow. You know, not a lot, not a lot going on. I like to... You know, in the off season, I like to go to the beach a lot. I live in Florida, so uh, you know, like rap, hip hop music. Um, you know, just kind of a laid back guy. Not really uh, much going on. Favorite team, Major League Baseball team, growing up? Uh, it would have to be the the Braves. My dad was uh, coaching with the Braves. Uh, that was probably my favorite team growing up. And now, favorite player? Favorite player when I was in high school and kind of still to this day is uh, Troy Tulowitzki. He's a uh, when I was a shortstop in high school. I was going to say, not a first. pitcher, yeah. Yeah, so he was, uh, you know, I, I was a tall for, uh, shortstop, you know, same height as him. And, you know, I always look up to what he did and stuff. So uh, he's probably my favorite player. How was spring training for you being in a new organization? I mean, I, some of these guys I'm sure you know from, from other minor leagues and from Arizona Fall League or, you know, whatever you were doing at the Cape and that sort of thing. But what was it like for you in spring training this year with a new organization, getting settled, getting comfortable, meeting all new people? That's the, that's the difficult part is just, you know, getting people getting to know people, learning their names, learning how kind of the organization does things. And But, I mean, honestly, it took maybe a week, and, you know, everybody made me feel real welcome and, and felt at home. So, you know, I've, I enjoyed spring training, and I'm ready for the season. Playing for Doug DeCinzo here in San Antonio, a club that uh, he managed in single A at Fort Wayne, won over 100 games in a season in single A, which is absolutely amazing. That nucleus is here. You, along with uh, Drew Cumberland, Jack Decker, I mean, you've got a lot of really high prospects and a lot of talented guys in the San Antonio Mission team. Yeah, I mean, we're really excited to go out there and play, and, uh, you know, all that stuff really doesn't mean anything unless you go on the field and show it. So, uh, you know, we're really happy on how spring training went, and we're ready to get the seasons going. Casey Kelly for Friarhood.com. Thanks.